Let's have a look at the effects. I'm clicking the FX button here, and I can see that I have three different buses. I have bus A, bus B, and a send bus. Bus A and B are inserts, while the send bus is a send bus, and it's routed in parallel to everything else. And you can see a diagram in the user manual. So bus A and B also can be routed in different ways, like right now, bus A feeds bus B. But I can also have bus A run in parallel to bus B, meaning the, the sound goes in parallel to A and B, and then summed up. Or I can have bus B feed bus A. So that's the idea here. And let's just, you know, uh, maybe try and see how it works. So I'm, I'm just playing a note. And I already can hear that we have some reverb. That's probably because that's what we have on the send bus. So I'll just take the send bus all the way down. And let's have a look at bus A. So I'm turning down bus A and nothing, no sound. Why is it? Because bus A feeds bus B. And if bus A doesn't produce any sound, then bus B will definitely not produce anything. So I can introduce bus A again, and I can do the opposite by clicking this button, feeding bus B into bus A. And again, if, I, if bus B is just turned all the way down, there's nothing to feed into bus A. So that's how it works. Double clicking, back to default. So now, as you can see, each of these buses can host three different uh, effects, and they're all the same, so they, they work the same. But I can just drag and drop, for example, uh, any of these effects and just drop, you know, drag it and drop it anywhere, drag it back, and I can change the order between them. And when I'm in any of these buses, I just click the, the tab here, and I can see the actual effects in these three different slots. So I think now it's time to just go through all these effects and see exactly what we have here. So first of all, of course, you can just select none and then just, you know, take off the effects. And when you look at all these effects, it's really a, a rich palette of options. And we have multi-filter which is just a simple filter, and it has different modes. You have low pass, high pass, bend pass, comb filter, and an opposite comb filter. Next, we have a parametric EQ, which is just a simple EQ. You have a, a low shelf, high shelf, and three different bands here. Next, we have a compressor, just a normal compressor. You have the attack, release, makeup gain, output gain, dry wet for parallelism, and then threshold and ratio. So let's hear it. Nothing, because the threshold is too high. So going down here. And we can play with the release. If I just select a very long release, you can see the reduction slowly goes down here. So that's the compressor. We also have distortion. Overdrive. We have a tone knob and a level to attenuate. Wave folder, which is very nice see what happens and we have different types we have sine and triangle and again next we have a bit crusher but it's also a down sampler really like the visualization here next we have a chorus Depth, number 
of voices for the chorus and so on. Plunger. And here we have different ways to uh, sync the rate. We either have a um, specific frequency in Hertz. We have sync into our BPM in normal, triplet, and dotted. Feedback, depth, and so on. We also have high pass and a low pass. Next, we have a phaser, and again, we have different ways to, um, to lock the rate here, either hertz, BPM, sync into triplets, or dotted. We also have low, uh, low frequency oscillator, LFO, here, and we can select the different wave types. So it, it can be sine, triangle, and so on. You can just play with that. And you can push the amount. We also have some stereo widths here and number of poles. Next, we have stereo panner, and we have an, the amount of the stereo spread and the rate. Again, the rate can be synced to our BPM, either normal, triplets, or dotted. And last two, we have delay and reverb. Delay, just a normal delay, that can be also a ping pong delay. Feedback, stereo spread, dry, wet, but also high pass and a low pass. Next, we have the reverb. Most of the time we'll use reverb in a send bus, but we can also use it in the insert. There's no problem with that. And all the usual options, size, stereo, can have mono to stereo, free delay, okay, and dump. That's the, the reverb. And last, let's have a look at the let's have a look at the send bus. So if you recall, when you we are when you're in in the synth uh, mode here in the synth panel, you can see that you have the send level. This is the same level. So if I select the default double clicking here, will get me back to nothing, but let's have minus 15. I'm going back to the effects and I can see that I'm in minus 15. And return. So this is the in, what goes into the, into the send bus and what goes out from the send bus. I think this is pretty much it. So I'll see you in the next session.